Hey guys, I'd like to present you Infinite Space. Infinite Space is a solution um, where you can use uh, 3D models of planets, stars, nebulas, asteroids or backgrounds in your own projects or you can use it with the um, components that we have prepared for you in order to create a parallax effect and randomized effect on each one of the objects. Well, let's review all the um, the, the folder structure that we have here when you download and import the package you will see this folder here infinite space that has all the 3d models materials images scenes that you may need let's see the 3d models and here we have the 3d model for the asteroid the big planet the planet in images we have a lot of information for the nebulas the clouds the stars some normals, normals and textures for the planets then we have the materials the prefabs that stores all the objects in the project the psd files that you can edit at any time the scenes we have the example scene and the random planet test that is the scene that you can see here well in here you can just press play and you will see how the planets can vary it using the scripts and the example scene that we will work in a little while after this we have the scripts the randomized scripts color normal rotation size texture and well some of the behaviors for the asteroids for example or the parallax movement okay so not, now let's see the example scene well, in the example scene we have um, all these objects, let's start with the main camera. The main camera is just a camera with an uh, orthographic setting and um, inside of it we have this quad with the uh, image of a universe that we will use as a background. We have lights in here, we have uh, asteroid groups um, like this. Uh, we have the three planets that are the main actor in this pack. Uh, big planets like this over here, like Saturn. Nebulas are these um, also quads with a nebula image. Star groups are this group of little stars. And the stars that are these stars over here. These are actually really small as you can see here but they they have the the necessary to to make their function. Okay um, so let's see all the the objects here. The space manager that I just don't named yet it, it is the um, the manager that controls the parallax movement. We have here the direction, left to right, right to left, down to up, up to down, and uh, it will control the, the parallax movement. If you don't put this in your scene, the parallax is still will, going to work, but it's just going to go from left to right. Okay. Well, we have the camera that I already explained. We have the asteroid group. The asteroid group is composed by these little asteroids. So this is a just an empty game object with these asteroids inside. Let's review one of them. Uh, well, this asteroid has two random components. The first one is the random rotation. The random rotation has these four parameters. First of all, it is the maximum speed rotation. That is the speed that the asteroid is going to rotate. Uh, this is a checkbox when you say if you want that the rotation speed gets randomized. The rotate checkbox say that if you want to 
the object to rotate over time and the rotation axis is well the axis that you want to rotate the object x, y or z uh, the random size is a multiplier where we decide to to multiply the size of the object randomly for example this one has a scale of 0.6 and here we are going to multiply it as 3 as a maximum amount in that case the scale is going to be between 0.6 and 1.8 that is 0 false 0 0.5 times 3 okay that's about the little asteroids now the asteroid group that is the object that contain, contains them uh, has these three behaviors the first one is asteroids that have these three uh, parameters the first one is the spawn time that is the time that the asteroids respawn after they leave the screen the speed is the speed of the asteroids moving and the randomize is uh, a randomized number uh, for the speed and for the spawn time the random rotation, well, we just saw that the parallax movement has these uh, four parameters well, the parallax movement is, uh, I think I will say the, the more important component in this pack we have here a minimum speed and a maximum speed where the object is going to to randomize their speed the behavior on exit it has the destroy or the regenerate that means when the object get out, get out of, the, of the screen what is going to happen? regenerate or destroy and the limit of screen is the amount of screens that the object needs to be out in order to regenerate okay that's the asteroid group the, at the end i'm going to talk about the planets but now let's go to the nebula the nebula has the parallax movement the random texture that selects randomly one of the textures that we enter here and with this uh, checkbox we choose to apply it on the detail map as well I'm going to explain this uh, for example in here we have the material of the nebula uh, we have the albedo albedo material I mean texture right here um, but we don't have any detail here. but when we play we can see that the material of the nebula has an albedo and also has a detailed albedo and the two textures are different that means that the, using the, these five different nebula textures we can create 25 different materials I mean different nebulas ok now we have the random size and the random rotation that we already saw the star groups have the parallax movement and random size the stars parallax movement random size and star blinking the star blinking is um, a component that make the um, object uh, disappear for a period a very short period of time for example let's check this we have this uh, star right here and you can say that the star it blinks in a random time for just a fraction of a second ok now let's move to the planets the planets are composed by these objects right inside of it the 3D planet is well it's just a, a sphere the 3D cloud is are another sphere but is separated from the planet as you can see here the moon pivot is the 
pivot of the moon that you can put right inside of the of the planet um, in that way you can just rotate it and the moon is going to rotate with it and the 3d moon that is this moon over here you can create your own prefabs just i don't know adding more moons or changing the the geometry of the of one of the planets etc. the big planet right here is just like the planet but the difference here is that the 3d model for the planet is more uh, has more trees i mean it's more it's more complex than the planet itself we have the clouds and we have here the pivot and the ring the ring is just a quaternion i mean sorry a quad with the um, with a material with a ring like Saturn and well that's about it about the example scene when I play press play you can see that all get randomized and uh, well, if I change the direction for example down to up and the direction is changed just like that up to down just to this you can have a top-down uh, space shoot for example okay now um, let's go and create our own uh, our own planet our own assets so I'm going to create a new scene for you guys this is it um, okay let's save it let's create folder here my space scene All right there we go and now we're going to start making our own planet okay let's say that you want to have um, I don't know a cube planet it's kind of weird but it's going to be fun I remove the collider and I'm going to create a new material. So I'm going to create a folder for the material. And I'm going to create a new material. There we go. My planet material. All right. Okay, so we put this here change the name to my planet okay and uh, we'll start modifying our our newly created material okay let's go to our images and textures so I'm going to put here in the albedo and there we go a little planet uh, it looks a little weird but whatever we're just testing this also I have I want to put a normal so I'm going to put this normal right here and there we have a normal for the for box planet okay I'm going to put it right in the center okay and uh, I'm going to make it a little bigger no, that was too much. Okay, there we go. Now, um, inside of this, we're going to have um, another cube. No, you know what? I'm just going to duplicate this, put it here, and we're going to create the clouds inside of this weird planet. Okay, for that I'm going to create another material. Okay, my clouds. This is going to be a fade, oh, sorry, a fade material. And uh, I'm going to 
add one of the clouds. This right here will work. And I have to assign this material to my clouds. And there we go. You see? Okay. Here, but the rotation is kind of weird. Sorry. It's kind of weird because this is a box, you know? But anyways, let's make it a little more, a little bigger. There we go. Okay. And uh, let's create some moons, right? Let's say that we want uh, some capsule moons. So here I put my moon and move it a little bit. There we go. I move the capsule lighter. And um, we're also going to put uh, an empty object that's going to serve as a pivot for the moon. And there we go. When we rotate this in this way, the moon is going to rotate with it. Okay. So now we have. Oh, we need the, the the material for the moon, but we're going to use the same one as the planet. And uh, well, it's not necessary to have clouds in the moon because it looks so much smaller. So that will be it. Now, in the main camera, we want to have a black background. So there. Now I press play, and uh, well, nothing happens. It's just a a planet that does not do much so we're going to make it a little more cheerful so I'm going to add the random rotation to the planet and the random texture and the random normal to the planet so let's see the random rotation is okay it's going to rotate over time, alright. Uh, rotation axis Y. Now the textures for the planet. I'm going to add this one and uh, this one and this one. Okay. And around normal, I'm going to add um, this one and this one and this one. Alright. So let's test it. Okay, it's rotating. It's changing the normals. And it's changing also the texture. Okay, so alright, now go to the clouds. To the clouds, we're going to use the um, the random texture and the random color so here we add a few cloud textures okay and some random colors right here let's put three of them and let's make it real colorful this green um, red red one and let's put a blue one all right okay we have a 30 percent of invisible probability and let's check this out okay you can see that we have uh, different clouds here with different colors No clouds this time. Okay, now we're going to make the moon orbit the planet. So I'm going to put the rotation to the pivot. It's going to rotate, sorry, to rotate over Y. And let's make it 
fast and we're going to put a rotation also in our moon in the let's put see and uh, let's say a hundred okay so let's try it up you see that the moon is rotating over the planet and over itself and we miss one of these I'm just going to copy this and paste it in the moon okay and now the moon should have a texture there you go a texture change okay so now we have clouds we have moon and um, well that's it now let's try adding more moons let's put two more moons um, I need to put it right here but a little far away and this one is going to be uh, oh sorry this one was bad it took the moon not the, the pivot the is in zero yeah that's correct and here we have another pivot and this moon we're going to put it right here upwards so let's change this in season y let's put it in x and this one let's put it in c the other one is in y all right x y and c okay let's try it out Wow, this is really crazy, right? <laughs> but I like it. Yeah, I like it, definitely. Okay, so uh, we're now going to make the magic of the prefabs. First of all, I'm going to add the main camera, the space manager, and while the paint, okay, left to right. Uh, I think now is this a little big, so I will put it just one scale. And okay, let's put the parallax effect right here. Um, let's make it a little more fast to evaluate how good it is. Okay. Put this in 0.5, and uh, I think that's it. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, it's moving, and uh, it gets to the limit, and it gets regenerated in another coordinates in in another set of uh, moons rotations textures, clouds, you know, and this I think working very good, so let's make a few copies out of this and put it in different places, okay, and let's add some of the prefabs just to make it more cute, nebula, another nebula but a little off um, uh, an asteroid group yeah put it here another asteroid group okay and um, some star groups let's move them a little and some stars okay so let's see how, how this work
we have the asteroids, we have our planets, our square weird planets. Um, there's a moon. <laughs> and they are regenerate. Okay, let's add in a little. A little rotation for each one. Right. Okay. And well, that's about it. Uh, so, guys, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know in the comments. And uh, that's it. Enjoy. Bye.